Hey, this is Eric from Sky Kingdom Games, and this is a video covering the first time setup of the Isofarian Guard. The first thing you're going to see when you remove the lid is a first time setup sheet on the top of the box. One side lists information regarding the audio narration provided by Foreteller Games. Simply scan the QR code provided on the sheet to be taken to their website where the narration can be purchased. The story of the Isofarian Guard was written in a way that is meant to be heard and experienced with audio, and greatly increases the immersion of the story. Orchestral music was composed specifically for each scene to ebb and flow with the narrative. Our team highly recommends playing the Isofarian Guard with Foreteller. The other side of the sheet covers steps needed to set up the game for the first time. As the sheet states, if you prefer to learn the game through reading, remove the rulebook and the Campaign 1 book from the Books of Isofar box. Read the rulebook, then follow the instructions on page 16 for starting a new game. Just like the video you're watching now, we have a series of how to play videos available to those that learn better through video tutorials. You can find those at thestonebound.saga.com forward slash the Isofarian Guard. Now, let's move on to the steps needed to prepare the components before starting the game. This process should take you 30 to 45 minutes. Once this initial setup is complete, Setup and teardown of the game only takes 10 to 15 minutes with the convenience of the game tray system and component boxes. Remove the Volume 1 card box and the materials and equipment of Isofar card box and place them on the table. All of the cards in the game have been pre-sorted for you to save time. There are plastic separators included to organize each card type in these boxes. The separators have also been pre-sorted to help with placing them in each box. Let's go through the process of placing these separators now. Make sure to look at each card pack before opening them. Some card packs state that they should not be opened until the campaign book tells you to. This includes a pack of separators as well. Also note that the Volume 2 card box is currently empty and can be used to store the cards from Volume 1 if you sleeve them. The materials of Isofar card box that holds the square cards also has an extra row to hold sleeved cards if desired. Now, let's take some time to place the plastic separators in this card box. We've already taken some time to unwrap the cards and separators. Each of the separators has an icon in the top left corner that identifies the type of cards it's for. The equipment cards are easily identified as you can match the icon from the card backs with the separators. Here's some helpful details to make the sorting process even easier. Note the starting and ending cards for each card type listed on the screen. Once all of the separators have been placed in this card box, we can move on to the Field Events, Enemies, and Abilities Volume 1 card box where most of the cards in the game are stored. We've already taken the time to place the plastic separators in this box. There are three main types of cards to sort. The first type is Field Event Cards. There are only 60 cards here and they are easy to spot with their light background. The next card type makes up the majority of the box, which is the Enemy and Enemy AI cards. When sorting these cards, Simply look at the top of the card to identify the enemy's name. The separators are also sorted by name, so this process should go fairly quickly. 
Some of the enemies have more cards than others. This is because some enemies may appear in groups for battles. Finally, we have the guard ability cards. Each guard has two separators for their cards. The second separator is used to show which cards have been unlocked for that guard. When sorting these cards, simply take the first four cards from each guard and place them in front of the second separator. The remaining cards are placed behind the second separator. Here are some helpful details to make sorting these cards even easier. Note the four starting cards for each guard listed on the screen. Finally, you'll find five sealed decks that contain the bosses from the campaigns. Note that each of these states not to open them until instructed by the campaign books. The plastic separators for the bosses are also sealed. Once all of the separators have been placed, the game is ready to be played. If you've read the rulebook or watched the tutorial videos, turn to page 16 in the rulebook to start a new game.